Branches. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one that has not been used, it means this family kind of moved or it's not around because no other family can use the gate that belongs to another family. Mm. So we are going to go close to one of the houses and then I can explain how the house is built and who does the work. And then we can split into two or three groups and the warriors are going to lead you into the various houses and explain to you what is in the house, what kind of food they eat, how they sleep, what many rooms are there in the every house. And you can ask the many questions that you want and take as many photos as you want. Great. Okay? Awesome. 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 <laughs> and when it's burned, the charcoal will be there. And they cover that charcoal with ashes and it will not go off. Yes. So when you come back, you can just put the ashes away and you see that charcoal and it's burned. But if probably the house is flooded and the water puts the fire off, the elders have to be called and they come in. Make blessings and make a new fire for that particular family. The elders within this village? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, uh, some of these guys, David will take one group, I'll take one group, and maybe one other guy can take another group. Or if we can all fit in two groups, we can split into two, get into one of the houses and learn more about how the life is in the houses. The Maasai use only three types of meal, apart from now when David and I are eating a lot of chicken and fish. We are supposed to be only having blood, milk, and uh, meat. The meat definitely comes from the sheep and goats, and rarely do we slaughter uh, a cow or a bull only for food. But they are normally slaughtered during the ceremonies, like the circumcision ceremony, wedding ceremonies, naming ceremonies, or any other ceremony that would include many other people coming together for such an occasion. Other than that, it's normally meat or milk, mostly milk. Just have milk in the morning. And the master will have two meals a day. Breakfast. Breakfast can be taken any time between eight and nine. And then the people can go. The ladies can go to their house. Because normally, when the grass are the ones that have been used up here, they will have to be changed maybe twice or thrice every year because the termites also eat the grass and they might not eat the grass. Oh? Prevents mold, is that what you said? What? It prevents mold? Yeah. yeah. So normally they also keep inside the houses the young ones, so it's a shift of 
clothes or you know, even the calves which need to be milked in the morning so that they don't suckle their mothers all night and we wake up to find there's no milk. Hmm. So they have to be kept here and, uh, so that they don't drink all the milk so that the women can find some milk in the morning. And also this is where they used to uh, make their prayers in the morning. Like every woman would stand here when they, she makes the first cow and then she'll put their first milk on her fly whisk and when she stands here she would draw the milk to the sunset and the sunrise and ask God to bless us from the sunrise or let the sunset protect the cow yell strongly, powerfully, as loud as you can. Nice wago! Yeah! Okay, that was nothing. I need you to do that. Nice wago! Yeah! Nice wago! Yeah! Nice wago! Yeah! Nice wago! Yeah! Bye bye, the Mayana. Make fire. Oh, I bring it. I bring it. Smoking. Smoking. But you need more practice. Bob, do you want to try? Yeah, I'll give it a try. There was a. Most of all, you have to do this. Yeah. So, what did you do? I got a phone. Okay. I'll try. We are at the village, the market in the Maasai village, where we just received our Maasai names. These are some of the beautiful things for sale. I think you should buy maybe this one. I say you like this one. Huh? Yeah. So you see the one. So you say you like this one. Okay. But maybe you look around. I'm looking around. Okay. 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 Just looking. Looking. No problem. Mm -hmm.